So if you're like me, you picked up a Polaris with the Patriot Boost engine in stock form, you've been looking for a muffler to make it sound a little bit more aggressive, uh, make it stand out a little bit. When I purchased this RPM side-by-side -side muffler, there was basically zero clips out there, no sound clips. The design itself is fairly similar to some of the competition, so I assume that it will sound uh, similar as well. The, this one is priced really uh, in the same ballpark as both the GGB and the Silver, at least at the time that I'm filming this. I opted for the stainless version. It's still supposed to drop around seven and a half pounds, I believe, which is supposed to make a big difference uh, with these RMK versions, trying to get the thing on edge. I'm going to do a good A to B comparison so you get an idea what exactly this sounds like compared to stock. I'll do some idle clips, some rev ups in a neutral state, and, and then I'll go out and try and do the same riding conditions as well. Give you a good A to B. I will also do a decibel meter on my phone. I'll take those measurements in the same spot and at the same distance so that we get a, a true good comparison, even though the decibel meter will just be the one on my phone. Take a second to look at the muffler itself. So I'm actually really impressed with how, uh, how well the welds and the, the overall appearance of it is for the price that you pay for it. Um, we'll see if it stands the test of time, but at least on initial quality, uh, it seems to be a really nice piece. Okay, I've got the RPM muffler on now. Um, if you've watched any videos on how to put these on, it's a little more difficult than a naturally aspirated sled, but it's not the end of the world. I definitely recommend getting a spring tool if you don't have one for this install. There's a couple of tricky ones. You need to do both the both the this side of the head pipe and the other side, so four in total there. These two springs, the one that's a really tough one is on the back side. As far as the uh, factory EGT sensor, you want to remove that on your factory one after you get it all tipped out. Um, and you'll take the air intake off of here as well. One of the videos I watched said to remove the sensor. Uh, I just removed the two push darts and then the uh, clamp off the turbo and left that sensor intact and set it over there. So here we go. So this is what the sled sounds like in stock form. Uh, engine is warmed up and at an idle. Uh, give you a few seconds to take a listen and then I will go over and do some revs as well.